Hey what's up guys, in this video I wanna share with you some of my USB-C accessories that I use every single day. Luckily, now more and more companies are switching to the standard and so it is getting easier to find these products. So here are a few of my favorite USB-C accessories. Number one on the list is this earphone Yoboom Bluetooth speaker. It is perhaps one of the best Bluetooth speakers that you can get for $50. It is a 24 watt speaker that provides 360 degree surround sound experience has Bluetooth 5 and 16 hours of battery time. IPX7 rating allows it to be fully submerged in water to a depth of 1 meter for 30 minutes, so it is safe around pools and outdoors as well. And of course, it has USB-C charging so I never have to carry a separate cable to charge it. That can be done with my phone's charging cable. Next up on the list is this power bank from none other than Samsung. It has a slim profile and houses a 10,000 mAh battery, so you can charge even the biggest phones a couple of times. There is another trick up its sleeve. It is also a wireless charger. It can charge my phone, Galaxy Birds, as well as Galaxy Watches. Because I have all these Samsung devices and I use them regularly, all I need is this one charger to charge them all. And to top it all off, it is also a fast charger as well as a fast wireless charger. If you are looking for a fast, reliable and secure SSD drive, which also happens to have USB-C, look no further than Samsung SSD T5 or now the new T7. It is compact, surprisingly lightweight and boasts read and write speeds of up to 540 MBs per second. Also, while the new T7 has a fingerprint lock, you can secure T5 with a password. It comes with a USB-C to USB-C and USB-C to USB-A cables in the box and can be used with most operating systems such as Android, Windows and Mac OS. As most of my use is with Android phones, I had to download a Samsung SSD app that allows you to password protect it. Next up, I also have this dual fast wireless charger with USB-C. Not hard to find one these days. The reason why I like it is because of its slim profile and lightweight. It has two coils inside which can fast charge two smartphones wirelessly at a time. And you can also charge accessories like Galaxy Birds on it too, which I always do. Its base has these rubber lugs that prevent it from slipping on any surface. A great product for your bedside table or even living room. Now let's talk about the next accessory that I want to mention here. Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. These are Samsung's latest offerings in the Bluetooth earphones category. They improve on a lot of things from the last year's Galaxy Buds. They now have double the battery life of 22 hours together with the case, 3 mics instead of 2 for better voice quality over calls, and an iOS app so you can use most of the smart features with iPhones as well. They also have USB-C support and a charge of just 3 minutes can give 1 hour of use or 10 minutes of charging will give 3 hours of use. The case is also wireless charging enabled, so you can charge them with any wireless charger. And now, finally, I want to briefly mention my Huawei MediaPad M5 8-inch tablet. Needless to say that it has USB-C, but it also has many other fantastic features that it has become the device of my choice for most tasks, whether it's social media or just media consumption and sometimes even just games. It possesses an 8.4 inch 2K resolution LCD panel, dual speakers for stereo sound experience, a fingerprint scanner, a 5100 mAh battery and fast charging via USB-C. There are many other features but I don't want to go into them in detail here. I enjoy the 8.4 inch screen size a lot more than its bigger sibling. It's a sweet spot for me because it is easy to use one handed and is also very portable. So that's about it from this video guys. Let me know if you have jumped the USB-C bandwagon in order to get rid of multiple cable types and if you're using any specific USB-C accessories. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing while you're at it. Also hit that bell icon for future video updates. I'll appreciate that. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.